Not. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Indie World. I'm Amber. And I'm Andrew. We're excited to share some upcoming indie games coming to the Nintendo Switch system. Let's get the show on the road. Many years ago, at the top of Mount Fugu, the cat god, Miko, appeared from a sakura flower floating in a nearby river. Miko would visit the farms in our village, granting each one good fortune and prosperity in turn. But some in the village became impatient for their own blessings, and in a fit of jealousy, they drove Miko away, banishing him from the land. That looks cute. What is that? Many years passed, and our village worked hard to create our own success. The story of Nico drifted from memory. Nico? Yet there are some who still believe in the power of magic and myth. Welcome to Mineko's Night Market. Long ago, the villagers at the base of Mount Fugu worshipped the mythical sun Mount cat Fugu? Nico. Fugu's blowfish. Recent sightings reveal this myth may no longer be a legend. As the adorable Mineko in this narrative adventure sim, you'll do various jobs. Narrative adventure sim? And craft all sorts of doodads in preparation for the weekly night market. And wow, this market is bustling. There's a ton of things to do here, like joining parades, entering cat races, and performing on stage. Did we mention cat races? Nearly everything you find on the island can be sold at the market. Now that's one happy customer. And if you're just itching to explore, the island's got lots of secrets Child to cover labor. and puzzles to solve. But be careful, you might encounter hey, some... Hey, don't, don't tease about child labor, way. man. That's, uh... Night market. We got that in the U.S. now as well. Switch, September 26th. They're letting kids as young as 17 serve as bartenders. Hello,我是吴志飞,公司的创意总监。在开发过程中，我们实地考察了中国西北的戈壁沙漠，那里的环境和当地自杀人的先进理念，激发了我们的创作热情。我们希望你能和我们一起来度过这个沙漠时光。谢谢。Love adventure, role playing, and simulation games. Oh, Jen liked this game. This sequel to My Time at Portia has it all. Through a captivating story, right? She dozens of wanted to marry the redheaded guy, and I got a little jealous. And then when she got up to use the bathroom, I challenged him to a fist fight. Equipped with your trusty tools, you'll gather resources. Why he's so short? Machines and a problem with short kings? A derelict workshop into a finely tuned facility. Lots of customization options are also in your toolbox, from crafting items to building. I lost, by the way. I lost the fist fight. However you'd like. But there's more to Sandrock than just building. He was really strong. Why not venture into ancient ruins and scavenge for relics? Or say hi to the locals and make some friends? Unfortunately, you can definitely bang that guy. This kind of popular with the monsters. So I mean, I'd let her, I, I'd, I'd get it for it. It'll, it might My show up on Game Sandrock Pass. Launches on Nintendo Switch this summer. I'm assuming this is a, a little bit of a riff on, um, God, what the hell's the name of that game? Hot Serve Delicious? I don't know. You could automate your pies? Overcooked, thank you. It, it, this might be, uh, it just might be launching on the Switch. 
ever dreamed of having your very own restaurant? Well, now you can in the roguelite management sim, Plate Up. Create, decorate, and automate the restaurant of your dreams. Place and arrange appliances however you'd like, but be strategic about it, cause you're gonna have your hands full. Lots of you could automate hot dogs going into your mouth. At lightning fast speeds. Fortunately, you don't have to undertake this gastronomic journey alone. Up to four chefs can play together locally or you already do that? to help run Amazing. this culinary empire. Manage both the kitchen and front of house to keep your customers happy. At the end of every randomly generated shift, you can acquire new high-tech appliances like turbo ovens to upgrade your kitchen and make your next restaurant venture. That's so even dark, Waka Jazz, but at the same time, so true. When Played Up launches on Nintendo Switch this October. Cześć, jestem Marek. A ja Monika. Quilts and Cats of Calico to gra, która powstała z naszej miłości do gier planszowych i kotów. Kiedy wyobrażam like sobie idealne cat. miejsce do odpoczynku i ten ciepły kot, like to mam mrużącego kota Darwina. Mogę wtedy zrelaksować się przy ulubionej książce. Tak jak dla mnie enough. koty są synonimem przytulności i ciepła. Te uczucia chcieliśmy wyrazić w naszej adaptacji gry planszowej Calico. Mamy nadzieję, że poczujecie je tak samo jak my. Miłego oglądania. Looking for the perfect board game night? Check out Quilts and Cats of Calico. Adapted from the real life tabletop game Calico, you'll I was always wondering why we never got more video game adaptations Place of board games. On the board, so buttons to score points and attract adorable cats. Aw, cute! Each cat has a preferred pattern, so stitch in style to become a master quilt maker. Tabletop Simulator does it better? I don't think it's got these animations. Online multiplayer. Join ranked match. I would love to do a video game adaptation of Space Alert. Try your hand at weekly challenges. You can also Nobody ever wanted to play that game with me. Cats and give them a positively great look. Cuddle up with Quilts and Cats of Calico, launching on the Nintendo Switch system. You know, it's it's, it's fair because I haven't been on Tabletop Simulator in a long time. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's a full-on rhythm game. I thought it was just a guitar game. Makes a lot of sense. I thought the music was similar. Wow, this game has some sick beats. I can tell. You've been bobbing your head for a while. Animation's great. In this spin-off of Crypt of the Necro Dancer, you've still got to move to the rhythm, but it's got a new musical twist of lane-based combat. Monsters will come flying at you, so match the on-screen prompts to kick them to the curb. Each one has a different movement. Am I pattern, dumb? Like and how so take multiple hits to What's beat. up left oh, and right? And let's not forget boss battles that'll really get you grooving. And if you need a break from the baddies, there's a special mini game to play for each of the five character storylines. Up, left, alive, and right, but you gotta push two at the same time. Launches on Nintendo How are you gonna push left year? and right at the same time? Next up, we've got some DLC news to share. That sounds really hard. Previously featured it's gotta be like D AX and Y or something. D pad and face, but it'll have to be some common. Arrow key? It's on the switch! There's no arrow keys! Get tidying a L R and A maybe five new puzzles as you explore a world of small spaces, secret compartments, and surprising stuff stuffed into every drawer. Charming new illustrations and scenarios are also included in this paid DLC, launching on Nintendo Switch this June. We're in this really weird era of video games where like puzzle action with the shovel knight pocket I'm not I'm not hating, stack. but Venture Forest. It's like a lot of games that are coming out. It's like not games. Test your puzzle prowess with quandary weird. and make your way through the perplexing halls of Castle Quandry. You can also pay Mr. Hat a visit for over 20 in-game hats to modify runs, or pick up some nifty new relics in Chester's shop. This free DLC shovels its way onto the Nintendo Switch system this spring. Expand oh, there's DLC, right? The relics of the old Which can't handle game. Cult of the Lamb. 
dozens of new items, relics, and enemies are scattered across remixed dungeons, guarded by the new versions of the four guardian bishops. Take your spoils back to the cult with new buildings to construct and followers to recruit. Plus now this was a, a fun new game. Unlockable quest. And after beating the game, keep the faith going with the new permadeath, gauntlet, and boss rush mode. Permadeath gauntlet this is kind free of update permadeath is interesting. On Nintendo You'll never forgive you killing you. You made everybody stronger. Yeah. Hello, I am Funny Man Video Game Donkey from. Oh Big hey, Mode it's Donkey. Publishing. I am joined today by the creator of Animal Well, Billy Basso. He must be Hello. so happy to be on this. I'm Billy Basso, the developer of Animal Well. I've been working on Animal Well for over five years at this point, all alone, making everything that goes into the game, including the engine. I was trying to give people the experience of finding something new. Oh, Donkey's been on like podcasts and stuff before. You can Pretty watch him in real life. Somewhere that's filled with puzzles that you would want to keep coming back to over and over again. I hope you enjoy Animal Well when it comes out on Nintendo Switch. Thank you. Are they going to show the game? A labyrinth. Is this the game? Well, well, well. Sounds like you're ready for Animal Well. In this atmospheric pixelated world, you'll search for treasures as you gradually uncover a dense environment. Where you go is entirely up to you. Perfect. So I shouldn't need to worry about anything dangerous, right? Yeah, about that. The dog just eat You're you? not alone in this labyrinth. Many interesting creatures Groveling here, toad! Might be hostile, so stay alert. Any items you've picked up can be used in a number of ways, like making a quick getaway or having friendly creatures help you out in a pinch. I'm not, I don't and grovel. Speaking of items, okay. there's a lot to uncover here. So yeah. get crafty with your items and see what you find. I'll be well prepared then. Summon your courage and curiosity for Animal Well, launching on Nintendo. Is this their first game? Next year. From Big Mode? That's neat. Crime cock? Guess what? It's crime. Oh, crime o'clock. Mm, that's odd. My watch says otherwise. I meant the puzzle exploration game. Anyway, don't <laughs> waste. You've got over 40 uh, cases to solve across. I mean, that's what I saw. Space. But where or I guess when do I even begin? Elementary, my dear Andrew. Look at your map. There are lots of eras to visit. From the lost age to a cybernetic future. In each era, you'll see how crime scenes develop for different time ticks. Wait a second. Could I do something I'm not in a one perp. era and change events in another? I'm not. Exactly. By traveling through time, meeting characters, and resolving each case, the map will change and more adventures will be unlocked. Sounds like a timeless experience. Set your alarms to Crime O'Clock when it launches on Nintendo Switch June 30th. Hello, I'm Peter, project leader at Rain Games. I'm Ola, the art director. And I'm Marion, co-producer. For the last 10 years, we created a variety of different games, expanding the Tassagrad universe. Now we are returning to our roots for a sequel. These titles are not only a celebration of I like those overalls, game, man. also Scandinavian nature and folklore. I need to get overalls. Origin of so much of our game's uh, visual identity. We hope you'll find as much wonder as we have in this universe and join our homecoming. We see you at the top of the tower. Glasses are very stylish. Whoa! Electric powers! Shocking, am I right? Close! In Teslagrad 2, you'll harness electromagnetic powers to solve physics-based puzzles. Move seamlessly through Scandinavian-inspired environments, accompanied by an orchestral soundtrack influenced by Nordic folk tunes. But that this looks land pretty holds good. many dangers oh, as fearsome beasts scene, eh? stand in your way. Master the art of Teslamency and defeat them to discover additional areas to explore. Plus, you can play a remastered version of the first Tesla grad game, which adds enhanced visuals and 10 extra challenge levels. Both Tesla Grad 2 and Tesla Grad Remastered bolt onto the Nintendo Switch system. Later today, you can get the game separately or bundled together in the Tesla Grad Power Pack Edition. Oh, it's like an RPG? 
A 1920s era RPG? A 1920s era Cthulhu RPG? Is this game already out? This is the, this is pushing the switch to the limit. Been out for eons? I feel like it's been out. Mobsters, monsters, and mysteries? Sounds like the cat's pajamas. Sign me up. Okay. Set in the 1920s within the West of Loathing universe, Shadows Over Loathing is a slapstick RPG full of silliness and stick figures. Your Uncle Murray asks you to help run his antique shop in Ocean City, but he's nowhere to be found. While searching for him, you'll encounter a sinister plot that could spell the end of the world. Venture through a sprawling black and white world filled with talking frogs, sentient math, and eldritch I I'd like it if they showed There's more of the combat. There's also a ton of roles to play. Stench damage? March to the beat of your own nefarious schemes as a jazz agent, or hold the curds of the cosmos in your hands as a cheese wizard. Please the damage? The of Shadows Over Loathing launches on Nintendo Switch later today. The physical version of the game will launch this fall. How's it going today? A lot of news today. Hola, Shadows over Lonely. Hola, soy Paco de Game Kitchen, creador de Blasphemous y de Last Door. Soy Enrique Cabeza, director creativo. It's, on, it's been on Rosa, Steam productor. since November. Y yo Raquel Alcaza, productora junior. Blasphemous es un juego que no la comunidad. Y desarrollar una secuela nos da la ocasión de volver a trabajar en su mundo y enriquecerlo aún más. En esta segunda parte hemos tenido la oportunidad de plasmar tanto nuevas ideas de diseño como nuevos caminos artísticos y narrativos. Os invitamos a echar un primer vistazo a Blasphemous 2. Esperamos que os guste. The Penitent One has returned. In this sequel to Blasphemous, you'll undertake a pilgrimage. Oh, Blasphemous 2. I've never played Blasphemous 1. I own it. Curse known as the Miracle. Hack and slash your way through legions of bloodthirsty foes and treacherous traps in this brutal action platformer. Choose from three newly added weapons, each one deadly in their own way. Wield the war sensor for slow but powerful flaming strikes. The rapier and dagger to attack with lightning fast precision. And the praying blade for vicious and versatile combos. By unlocking weapon memories, you'll learn more moves that'll help you survive the dangers lying ahead. Penitence awaits in Blasphemous 2. I should probably I should play Nintendo first. Switch this summer. No reason. Riley? Riley, are you there? Riley, come in. Jacob, four hours ago, a cult opened a portal above Edwards Island. Riley, yes, but are we, are we really the ones to do something about it? Have you seen anyone else around? We've been all over. We've seen different timelines, gone back to the past. We're alone. There is no one else. Netflix is uh, getting Riley, into games a little Riley. bit, although they laid off a lot of people. Look like oxen free. Riley returns to her hometown of Kamina to research strange electromagnetic waves. But what she discovers is more than what she bargained for. Set five years after the events of the first oxen free game, you'll tap into the town's ghostly signals and unsettling static. Tune the radio to communicate with supernatural beings. That seems like a bad idea. Manipulate the world around you and watch out for a shadowy cult attempting to open their own reality-altering portal. While exploring this beautiful yet treacherous town, use the new walkie-talkie conversation system to connect with local contacts. Some of them may have valuable info that can give you more insight into Kamina's mysteries. Your choices will have an impact on Riley's development, relationships, and the story. Will Modern gamers understand the concept of tuning a radio? Sure. In need? It's all up to you. Tune in to Oxen Free 2 Lost Signals. It's Starring like switching Twitch Switch channels. <laughs> July 12th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. 
Thanks for staying with us so far. Before we go, we'd like to show you a sneak peek of several more indie games coming to Nintendo Switch. Check it out. All right, couplets. I, I want it for you. I really do. Oh, is Rotato not out there yet? Rotato's so good, man. Single action game. Blasphemous. Right? Blasphemous 2. And that game looks real bad. This game looks neat. Jack Ryan Radio. What a inspiration. That's all for today's Indie World. We hope you enjoyed everything shown in today's showcase. A huge thank you to the indie community and Reddit indie must be on games melting the down, dude. And as always, thank you for watching. Follow our official Twitter account to stay Reddit up to must be melting down. Anymore. I'm just gonna go to the Until Silk time, song. Happy gaming. Reddit. Oh, it doesn't know my password. No, I'm just looking for the cope. How do I sort by new? Stop posting about Silk Song! I'm tired of seeing it! My friends on Discord send me Nintendo Directs! On YouTube, it's fucking Nintendo Directs! I was in a server, right? And all the channels are just Silk Song stuff! I showed an Xbox showcase and asked my girlfriend, and I said, Hey, babe! Time to put on our clown makeup! Ha <laughs> sha! I don't know. I fucking looked at the Daily Silks on News channel and said, just a week away! I looked at a spider, I think of a Hollow Knight character, and I go, Silk Song, more like Silk Soon! We'll just, uh, we'll do like a couple more hunts. <laughs> do it again. Let me watch the bug, man. <laughs> I just, like, I knew it would be on Reddit. Like, I just knew, I knew in my heart it would be there. So I just, I just went there and I just, I just did my thing. That's, that's. <laughs> Time to put on my clown wig.